Hey adventurers, welcome to the crew. I'm Celic Janda, and this is my let's play of Pillars of Eternity. In the last episode, we finished the 10th level of the Endless Paths, and then went and handled a few bounties, and we're now heading back to Katanua to sell some things, meet some people in our keep, and generally make some preparations and do some upkeep stuff. It keeps coming along nicely. Yes, yes, quite, quite. Haven't really been into the Artificer's Hall. I guess we should probably check it out. Hey, Warden. Well met, friend. Uh, War Chief O'Clock is dead. That ought to make the veil wood a little safer for a time. Here's your reward. 2250 copper. Okay. And took down the dweller. To the relief of the merchants, I'm sure. Here's the coin they were offering. Also 2250 copper. Kind of irrelevant at this point. But hey, half of us leveled up-ish. Kind of. Four of us, I think. Oh, just three of us. Oh, well. It keeps coming along nicely. Yeah, it... Kinda, you don't have to say that every single time you enter the keep grounds. What's this? Oh, that was fast. Griefing mother found surprising resistance to her inquiries regarding the whereabouts of bon Bonacetta. Whoever had taken her wanted to keep her location a secret. At the behest of the Duchess of Spirento, a team of Valian cryptographers attempted to decipher the fragments of Bonacetta's weaving messages. In turn, they communicated those leads to Griefing mother. After several brutal fights against well-trained mercenaries, Griefing Mother reached Bonacetta's prison, a weaving house near Girara. The Valian textile company that had abducted her was immediately cast out of all the Valian republics, great and small. And thanks for saving her, Bonacetta wove an enchanted cloak for Grieving Mother's journey back to Katnua. Cloak of comfort. Plus five all defenses, 30 max endurance, three damage reduction? Damn. That's a nice cloak, though, actually. Okay, we have two... We have a slaver and a wanted criminal in the keep, apparently. Probably ought to do something about those. So here's our artificer. He didn't exist until recently. This looks like something from an Adiran drinking game in which several vials are filled with water and one with concentrated sonrade liquor. Okay. Springs, gears, and wires jangle around in the crate. Interlocking rings are carved with peculiar symbols. They slide across one another with a soft series of clicks. How do you do? Greetings, my lord. Here you'll find only the most ingenious of contraptions. Oils and snares and dwimmer crafts all to fetter and frustrate your foes. Do you wish to have a look? Sure. Um, he literally sells four traps. Alright, fair enough. I don't really ever use traps, so... Pass. Uh, but we do have a couple of people to talk to in the keep, and... Uh, probably even before that, I should level up and talk to our... Merchant, so that we can sell our piles of junk. Uh, might as well talk to the guys first. Hi, Solmar. Oh, you have a matter of some importance to discuss. Sure, let's hear it. Can't help but notice you're a slaver, so give me one reason why I shouldn't kill you. I'll cut to the meat of it. I have a dozen Orland slaves in port at Girara. Good, healthy stock that'll fetch a fine price in Ixamidal if I can get a ship up the coast. That's the, uh, tricky part. I haven't got the coin to stock a ship for the whole journey. Not without docking at a Deerwood port along the way and running the risk of having my goods seized. Really, these Deerwood laws are completely impractical for any honest merchant traveling outside of Defiance Bay. I hoped you should be of assistance. You're not originally from the Deerwood, I hear, so surely you understand. Uh, where's my option to kill him on the spot? Oh, good. 
Haravius, see if you can free those slaves. Oh, I would love to. It gives me something to do with my hands while I plot this man's painful death. Fantastic, I'm totally on board with you, Haravius. If you come to a decision... <laughs> yes, I've decided to hang you. Guards, take him away. Bye. <laughs> what? You can't be. This is madness. Stop. You can't do this to me. Yeah, loser, I can do this to you. What on earth about my reputation gave you the idea that I would help you smuggle slaves? What an idiot. Yeah, Solmar the Shackler sure was executed. Okay, and you're... You're a criminal. <laughs> but not a slaver, so maybe we can talk. Name's Neri. Begging your pardon at all, my lord, but I was hoping we could talk. Sure. So, might be I got myself nicked here and there for a few unsavory deeds. My name's on posters all over Defiance Bay now. Makes it harder to work about freely, if you get me. My thinking is, it's time for me to seek out new horizons. Deadfire Archipelago seems nice. Then I'm out of everyone's hair. Only I could use some help getting there. Not that I'm asking you to do this for free, mind. I picked up a couple things here from a fellow I know. Not much good to me if I'm caught. But, like, I'm not overly concerned about theft, but it's still not good, per se. Why are all the criminals showing up to my keep and being like, help me out? No. <laughs> Literally a member of the Crucible Knights, aka basically the police. Um, and you dare show your face in my keep? Well, no, I didn't mean no defense. Heard you've got a talent for getting things done is all. Um, yeah, I'll take the nice option and not hang her, but like, get out of here. Hey, hey, hang on, I'm leaving. No need to get the, oh, I'm going. Dodging fists nearly scrambles from the hall. I can't be just openly helping thieves escape the law. She could consider herself lucky that I, uh, she wasn't arrested. Whoa. Oh, this is all the stuff I've gotten this quest rewards that I never picked up, apparently. Huh. Fair enough. Probably not going to use most of these, but some I might. This cloak is really nice, actually. This is a little questionable. Alright, I guess we should level. Um. What the heck? Give me a point of lore. Maybe we'll get damage reduction 2 at some point. Okay, I need a level 5 spell that's actually good. This drains. This causes freeze damage in a cone. Okay, that's kind of somewhat nice. I mean, it's a... Uh... I guess maybe you do have to cast it. But it's nice. Um, poison. Alright. Could be pretty decent. That's pretty handy. Weakens and terrifies. This is around me. That hobbles enemies, that turns enemies into... I think this is probably the thing to go with. Uh, this or the Malignant Cloud. Let's see, this lasts 14 and a half seconds. This just does 61 to 97 damage. This does 18 to 27... I would assume... Per... Maybe not second, but every couple of seconds for 15 seconds. Um... Although it affects everyone in the cloud. Mm -hmm. 
this would probably be really good for handling like enemy ranged attackers. Tell you what, I'll give myself this. this new okay arcane vim well that's kind of handy actually let's get arcane fail then loft we can give him the frost oh no wait opposite we can give him the cloud right oh shoot I've already forgotten what decision I literally just made but Okay, he has Arcane Veil. Perhaps he can also get, uh, I don't know, just a... I could make it better. Maybe a bonus spell would be fine. Palestina, let's see here. Probably more points into athletics. And then let's see here. That's kind of nice for Zealous Focus. Hmm, more defenses, huh? Okay, I kind of like more defenses because we are using her as a tank. Not a very complex level up. Nader, more athletics. I don't feel like I need more survival out of you at this point. An extra knockdown. That would be nice. It's... Mm, that's acceptable, not great. It's not too bad, actually, but... Yeah, let's go for this. Might be handy. Okay. Now let's take a look at everyone's inventory. Um, Alright, let's sell all the junk Hello. first. And then, um... Do lockpicks only stack to five? That's just unhelpful. Let's go ahead and sell everything. It's not at least fine. And then we'll see if we have anything. New or exciting to look at. Our lockpicks are so badly organized. Grimoire is not better than any of them. I'm just going to sell it. we got to hold on to one of our Wodaka hoods, but yeah. Okay, that brings up some inventory space, I think. Is all that actually only worth 1,800 copper? Good grief, what a bunch of junk. Okay, does anybody need... I think inventory space is functionally unlimited, so it doesn't really matter, but... Does anybody need anything out of our piles of equipment? I'm pretty locked into this scepter now. Aloth is using this scepter. I could give him a... Is it... It's fine. We've probably... I feel like we picked up a better weapon or two than that. Let's see here. 
Oh yes, this one is exceptional, so we should definitely consider that. No. We've also got an exceptional wand or two he could use. Alright, how about this? Exceptional rod. Can stun, inflicts disorienting on crit, exceptional quality. Yeah, have this. Use that. What am I waiting on to level this up? I need to deal 300 damage to dazed enemies or 1500 total. We are well on the way. Alright, fair enough. Uh, yeah, Rose. Okay, is there any oh, uh, weapons? Felgina has that. I don't think we've picked up any really good great swords that would make me think. They're like that, it'd be better. I wish this would sort itself a little more clearly. Uh, Scani has this bow. I'm almost certain we haven't picked up a better bow. Yeah. It hasn't been that long since I've through this. We've been using this flail for a long time. Do we not have a better, like... The problem is, even though it's fine, this life drain ability is pretty good. Especially with the accuracy, but uh, do we have any sword that's gonna be like outrageously better? Well, this one will deal way more damage, but otherwise, no. So this one. I'll just leave him with what he's got. And you, you have a gun. I don't think we've picked up any good guns lately either. Not really. Do we have any armor in here that looks like it's so good that somebody has to wear it? Well, that's pretty nice. I mean, this is pierce proofed, converts crits to hits, and it's fine. Just has speed and deflection against ranged attacks. So what's everybody wearing? I have exceptional hide, although, hold on. Hmm. The issue is this reduces recovery speed, and only for the same. Yeah. Loth has very light armor, which is. Not that great, actually. I mean, do we have anything better? Clearly better. And that's light armor. Well, cultist robes and stuff. We don't have any really special robes. I mean, this is doesn't have intellect and lore giving, but it does have better armor. That's maybe not that critical, really. Um, like, it's nice stuff, but I feel like maybe. Especially as he's not the lead character, he'd probably be better off just putting on a fine robe. Perhaps. We still have starter armor, too. It's not that good, though. Gina has her breastplate, which, yeah, hard to beat, 40% in 10. I mean, it would take an exceptional, well, we do have an exceptional breastplate, but it doesn't have Defiant, which is pretty nice, so... Yeah, I guess we didn't pick up that much that's really spectacular. We should probably give Sagani some somethings. She's kind of short on uh, accessories. Here, have this. Right, how did she end up so short on accessories? 
Would have thought we would have equipped her with some. Well, here have some. And uh Do we not have any boots? We do. Yeah, maybe a nice belt. Do we have belts? Not really. Well, somebody should wear this, actually, because this is really good. Let's see here. What do I have on? Oh, yeah. I'm taking that off. Putting... Uh, where the heck was it? Putting this on. It's noticeably better. I mean, intellect and resolve is alright. Ader, what do you got? Plus nine will. I feel like this might be better, honestly. I really want plus nine will. Probably not. Alright, good enough. Don't need to do anything too elaborate. Right, sent your RVS to deal with that. We're building a craft hall. The keep is well guarded. Oh, you know what? I need camping supplies. Totally forgot about that. Hail, traveler. Hi. I do need to buy one thing from you. If you would. There we are. Yes. Okay. Better indeed. Alright, so that is the bounties dealt with that I can. This one is in Elmshore. That I need to find the pieces of. I guess we should meet that guy. Let's go to Defiance Bay real quick. Meet that guy. Maybe just hand the breastplate back. Oh, that's right. Defiance Bay is too much on fire. We can't go back to it right now. I think. I didn't realize that was actually a thing, but I think it is, yeah. Okay, well, in that case, I think what we're gonna do is... Well, this is I'm gonna end for tonight, but, um... We're going to head to the White March, because I've been told that I should probably do that before I do the third act of the game, so... Up to Stalwart Village. Only 24 hours, huh? Looks like it's far away. Um... Thanks for watching, adventurers. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch live on Twitch. If you did enjoy the video, consider leaving a like or subscribing. Have a nice day, adventurers. This is Sea Lord Janda, signing off.